And we back like bra straps is Vach Lombardi here with more training camp um, breakdowns and film and all that. We are back with the uh, with the one eighty p footage, <laughs> uh, and we got some one on ones in this video. So uh, let's run it for the cardio and see what's going on. We got Jeff Swain in the goal line here. Now I think it's interesting that the Cowboys are uh, you know or or at least young Jason Garrett right here. Is trying, they're they're trying to figure out what their what their goal line passing options are, and we got uh, Jeff Swain here. With the interesting release, I don't know who 37 is. Chat box tell me who 37 is. But uh not too nuanced, but we but we uh we see his ability to uh to uh separate and we see him at the top of his route. We see him breaking down and head faking to the opposite direction and coming back inside there uh with the long arms to uh separate even more and catch. So that might be something that you know we uh we could be looking uh looking forward to with uh Jeff Swain. Uh, let's keep watching. We got Byron Jones uh, at corner uh, versus uh, Allen Hearns. Let's take a look and see what happens. Okay. So, look, a couple things here. We see nuanced route running from Allen Hearns, right? We're going to see him come off the ball here. <clears throat> uh, very immediate to the inside, man. Quick slant. Ball probably... So this is probably a, a planned uh, cutback inside the game, a little more separation. So And it worked. And it worked. The ball was was placed fine. The head fake to the inside was right on time. It gave you a little bit more space. We see Hearns trying to fight Byron's hands off, but Byron's so damn long, man. Byron, Byron with the long limbs that uh Alan Hearns actually creates a bit of separation, but Byron with the long arms, man. Damn, damn. He comes back over to break this thing up. Let me come back to this report, to this view right here. <clears throat> Byron's going to come over and break this thing up <clears throat> right there. You got to be excited about Byron Jones, bro. You you got to be excited about Byron Jones, bro. Long arms. Let's keep watching, y'all. Look at Byron looking at him. Look, look at Byron looking at him. <laughs> Pump. We got uh, Blake Jarwin here versus 21, whoever the hell 21 is. <laughs> with the one-handed catch in the back of the end zone, Blake Jarwin. You know, people got their reservations about the tight ends, bro. You know, it's not a lot of great tight ends in the league anyway. It's about six of them. So we just got to be adequate at the tight end position. And let's be honest, tight ends only only going to catch, what, three passes a game from us? Maybe four? Maybe all four tight ends going to probably catch one pass? Let's not get out of hand here. We got Jamez Zola Wale. Uh, he's going to be at the uh, running back position. And, and you know what? I saw a lot of this. I actually saw this in a uh, preseason game or in other p uh, parts of uh, of uh, practice as well. Uh, we, we've we seen Rod Smith and Zeke line up at receiver and put Jamez Zola Wale in the backfield. What does that mean to me? Well, Zeke, didn't, Zeke doesn't get a lot of catches because he's so good as a pass blocker. Well, if Jamez Zola Wale could be our pass blocker, then Zeke can get some damn catches. But don't get it twisted because Jamez Olawale can catch passes out, out of the backfield too. Mm. So we know Jamez can be a receiving fullback, but I want to know how how he's going to do, uh, you know, in the actual uh, fullback side of the run game, you know, uh, blocking blocking guys in the hole, you know, leading and cracking and, you know, all that type of stuff, kicking out. <clears throat> but pretty pretty solid routing hands by Jamez Olawale. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. And here we got uh, Jeff Swain versus Leighton Vanderesh here. <clears throat> Leighton Vanderesh, a big ass dude, man. Like, 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 bro. Like, how how big is Jeff Swain? Like, what six 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 seven or something? And Leighton Vanderesh look just as big as him. That's wild, bro. And uh, we see decent coverage by uh, by Leighton here. He's sticking with him, but we get a little bit of placement by Dak here, putting it right in front of him. And uh, 
Leighton Van Der Esch is not able to recover from the ball placement. And uh, and let's be fair, man. Jeff uh, Jeff Swain does have the leverage advantage here, so but not bad by Van Der Esch. So we got Lance Lenore here. I believe that's what my description says. Yes, we got Lance Lenore goal line as well. <clears throat> Look at that nuance, man. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? We see him coming off the football here. And not only do we see him faking to the inside, but we see him using his inside hand to clear the DB's hand off of him. See that? You see you see 24 try to get hands on him, but Lance Lenore is going to clear the hands right there. Is that Cheeto? Lance, but Lance is going to clear the hands right there to get a little bit more separation. He's going to go up top over him. I think that's where Lance is going to make this team, man, with these with these type catches that we would get the Dez Bryant on the regular. Uh, Lance may be that guy. Now, he's not as good, but um, Lance Lance got a little jump ball in him. Michael, you know, Michael Michael Gallup, Alan Hearns even, you know, got a little jump ball in him. And, and even better, they're all nuanced route runners. So that's a good, uh, that's a good rep right there, too. Some people want to have speed to come over the top of the defense. I don't think KD Cannon going to make the team necessarily, but uh, he would be your speed guy in this scenario. He's on the far side of the field over there. He would be your speed guy in this setup. Uh, KD Cannon can fly like the wind. Um, he just got to have a grasp of the wide receiver position. He just got to get the, get, the, get the playbook, figure out his route running. Nothing new. The same guy he was in Baylor. Uh, so, you know. That whole thing, but good job using uh using his speed to se uh to uh separate here. Good job getting the ball over the top. Nice catch, bringing it in. Now, I kind of want KD Ken to not be looking at the ball the whole time because the more your eyes are back, the more the DB knows the ball is coming. See how the cornerback that's on him, he knows just like okay, he knows the ball is coming because KD's looking back, so he 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 thinks the ball coming too. The DB just kind of missed the jump there. And we got the headline of the year. We got the nasty little Rico Gathers catch, the one-handed joint over Leighton Van Der Esch. Um, hey, man, look, don't get me wrong, because I'm looking at Rico Gathers right here on the right side of the line, man, and he does look clumsy moving around. Let's not act like he don't look clumsy getting up the field. That's him right there. But once he gets going and once he gets to the back end, I guess he can make catches. He can jump over people. He can box people out. So... I don't know. We got a little optimism there, but uh, as far as like size and positioning and all that, like Leighton Vander should be able to run with him though. I, so I don't know what happened while they were off screen. I don't know. Somebody got tied up, but Vander is fast enough to keep up with uh, Rico Gathers. But you got your one hand to catch. Bam! Good job, Rico. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Uh, put a put a little like on this. If you disliked it, you can hit that button too. Subscribe if you're new. Um, hit the bell on it so you know when I come back and uh, drop random ass videos in the middle of the week just like this. Um, follow me on Twitter, Vach Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. Don't forget about the Patreon and Vach's Voice Podcast is streaming on all your podcast platforms, all right? Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and the Peaski Weeski. Salute.